This tutorial is about Google Classroom, specifically an introduction to Google Classroom, which includes how to set up a classroom, how to invite students and or staff to access your classroom, and how to um, set permissions for others, uh, other teachers to collaborate with you on your classroom. The first thing that you need to do is go to classroom.google.com. It's going to prompt you to log in. Um, you can log in with your WCPS account. Once you've logged in, any um, classrooms that you've already created will be listed on your home page. Um, here, these may be classrooms that you've created or classrooms that other um, teachers have uh, or students have created that you've been invited to join. In order to create a classroom, you simply click the plus sign in the top right corner of the screen. You will see then an option to join a class or create a class. You simply want to create a class. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to call this class test. Um, this is where you could put in the name of the um, class specifically that you're doing. Um, you can also delegate it based on section as well. So you could have your algebra, you know, period one, period two, whatever. Um, or elementary could just be your fourth grade um, math, fourth grade reading, however you want to do it. Um, there's lots of different options. You might just want to have one classroom for your entire class, and that's up to you. Um, once you've named your class, you simply want to click Create. In a matter of minutes, Google creates your class for you. Um, a few things to note. First of all, there is a tour that you can take as soon as you've created your um, class. And this tour will give you the opportunity to kind of explore some of the different options that, um, that Google Classroom provides for you. Um, you'll notice that it set a background theme for me. However, if you'd like to change that, you can simply click Select Theme over here on the right. And there are lots and lots of different ones. It seems like there's new ones added um, every week, but lots of different ones for you to choose from. You'll want to pay, pay particular attention over here to the left-hand side at the bottom. Um, you'll see something called the class code. And this is the code that students and um, teachers or anyone else who's joining your class will use in order to access your um, class. So this is the code that you would provide to them. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you today is if you go under the About section here, the About tab, um, you have the opportunity to change different things about your classroom. We'll get into more detail about that later. But um, what I did want to show you is that you can invite a teacher to collaborate on this classroom with you. So many times you might um, be collaborating with an Encore teacher or, um, you know, inviting someone else um, to actually, who would actually then be able to add assignments and things to your classroom. If you simply search for the person's name, I'm going to search Eric Greeland. Click this, um, the staff member that you'd like to add, click Next, and simply click Invite, and that will then bring them into your classroom and um, allow them to have all of the same editing rights that you do.